So another thing is these wavy edges here. There's actually I noticed one over there too. Right around here. Uh, and this whole side. These are multi multiple layers. These are two layers thick here. These are two layers thick here. Two layers thick. Where it's been bent the most, it's opened up and then it's filled up with dirt. So trying to straighten that out means I'm going to be crushing that uh, old grease and dirt in there. And that's going to actually obviously be preventing it from closing together and straightening out properly. So I'm trying to just give it a quick once over here to get the, you know, the grit out from between those parts. It's, all the way down, but it's, it's not opened up. It's, you can see the, the layers, but it's not opened up. This is the worst right here. And this isn't going to be perfect. This is just going to be... This isn't going to be perfect. This is just going to be good enough for for now. It's, you know, obviously, once this is straightened out, no one's ever going to see this. This is, this is the bottom. <laughs> so, you know, I'm happy with just getting most of it out. So now, I'm going to try to straighten it out with these pliers. Uh, grabbing it and straightening out the wave as well as straightening out this wave is obviously squeezing those together but I don't know if they're going to be able to squeeze together we'll see so I just grab it and I you know pry it over basically these are smooth jaws so they're not going to do too much damage to the paint I hope that's the idea let me open up one notch so there's just enough room for it to be inside I believe these are the 10 inch long version of these. So you have a lot of leverage for this, you know, type of job, this level of what you need. It looks like some of the dirt got squeezed out, isn't that amazing? Is good. Do the work. Okay. For this kind of job, I would say go slow. Don't just grab it and start, you know. Really trying to like bend it around like stuff like that. Be gentle. It'll flex. It'll bend. It'll go back where it was. Trying to go back to where it was. It's trying to you know retain its shape. And just take your time and, and nurse it along. Looks like more crap came out here. And like I said before, I'm not gonna I'm not trying to make this brand new. I just want to make it a little bit better. They'll make take you know get rid of the worst dents, the worst bends, most of the dirt, grease. As you saw I cleaned it already in previous videos. I've been working on the drawers, but I'm not gonna make you watch all the drawer work because because there's a bunch of drawers and it's the same exact thing, it's just different shapes and sizes but it's the same exact job so maybe I'll do the last drawer on camera oh I can actually see stuff being pressed out I don't know if you saw that old grease so I'll just do the last drawer on camera maybe and then uh, and I'll maybe part of this being polished up that already looks a lot better
Yep. That's how that's how much force these things de deliver. It's actually squeezing the old dried greasy grit in there out from between these uh, two panels like toothpaste coming out of there. That's amazing. Supposedly these pliers deliver ten times the amount of force as what you're putting in in the handle. So. Maybe I'm not, uh, maybe it's not that hard to do. But, you know, if I'm putting five pounds of force on this thing, that means there's 50 pounds coming out of the, <laughs> out of those jaws, which I guess is enough to get the job done. By the way, these are the Knippics. Um, I think they're called uh, adjustable pliers. Something like that. That's what they, they officially title it. The uh, part number, if you care, is uh, 8603250. I think these are like the medium size sort of thing. I have a smaller pair that came in a set with a pair of tiny Cobras as well. And those I'm using my, uh, I keep mostly in my uh, toolkit for the motorcycle or for the car, truck type of thing. But uh, these bigger ones are better for this. The, the jaw, everything's smaller, you know, the jaws are smaller, so they would still do the job probably, just they would do a tiny version of it. This is big enough to get more work done. And I think you can see down there, can't you? No. I'm going to go down here. Maybe we'll scrape that out a little bit real quick. You can feel the metal flexing underneath these jaws. These are kind of like a crescent wrench and a plier put together. You get the flat adjustable jaws and they're in parallel. The top and bottom are always facing each other directly. They're not uh, angled one way or the other. Because it's a plier, you can actually squeeze way, you know, super hard on it unlike a crescent wrench where you adjust it to that size but you don't apply any force you can't like squeeze turn that little dial you know turn that little knob harder it's not going to work this thing you're, you're actually clamping down on it and there may be there may be places where the a crescent wrench is actually a better tool for the job but to me these are pretty great as i have a couple crescent wrenches of course everyone does I'm not going to get rid of probably any of them, and definitely not all of them, but these seem a lot more practical. The crescent wrench might be a little smaller, since it doesn't have an opening jaw and it doesn't have two handles, so there's actually less, you know, volume of, it's more steel and less big, you know, right in here, this is all with one handle. But like I said, you can't squeeze it down like you can here. And with these longer handles, I can actually move my hand back farther to get even more leverage on it and, and force on it. That's not there. Some small waves, but it's fine. I just don't want it to be those. When you do a little improvement, is good. More squeezed 
still. Well, that means it's coming together, or I guess it squeezed it when I was squeezing together. It was probably bending together too. So low, my back is hurting, leaning over it. That's good for there. Pretty happy with that. Let's try the other side. This, this is more, more okay. It's down here. I'm trying to get it. It's also split open. Oh, look, there's a bee. <laughs> bee landed. It's getting too cold and dark for these poor little dudes, so they start to crash land here and there. Actually, it's a little doodad as far as I understand. The worker bees, as, as I was told, are all female. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, this is three layers. Oh, this is three layers. Oh, this is three layers. Three? Oh, this is three layers. Three? Oh, this is three layers. I only see two. I only see two. Maybe. 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 And down here it's icing inside. And down here it's icing inside. And down here it's icing inside. And two inside. And then the two inside. And then the two inside. And then the outside three. And then there's a corner four. And then there's a corner four. And then there's a corner four. Angle here. Angle here. Angle here. Which I guess that's the back panel. 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 So it's no wonder these things are still around. And uh. Where'd that bean go? I lost track of him. Hopefully it took off. I don't want to squash the little dude. Little dude it. But you can see how these things are so heavy and tough. It's ridiculous. I'm going to steal in these things. So with just moderate care, they last for decades. I mean, this thing is uh, 55, what did I say, to, to 2,000 is uh, like 60, 65, uh, now we're at 2001, we just, we're still in January, going on 66 years old. Uh, at this rate, if it takes, if I take decent care of it, it just stays in my garage, this thing's going to see at least another 40, 50 years, it'll be 100 years old. Isn't that amazing? I mean, no problem. You know, it's not gonna, it's gonna make it for sure. It's in already in decent condition. As long as I don't fuck it up. It's kind of open here. I knew what this label said, but oh well. <laughs> and now we've ripped, flattened out that den a little bit, brought it back a bit, and straightened out the edges. So that's I think that's gonna be this video for now.
a little bit shorter than the other ones. And I'll get back with uh, finishing up the drawers because I already did some. We'll finish them up. And uh, I also wax this thing, which I probably won't show you the whole thing because it's just waxing. Or maybe I'll, I'll record it and then fast forward it or something. But anyways, I hope you found that helpful. Kinepix pliers and a. Uh, <laughs> saw my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident myself. <laughs>